we're going to be painting some blue glass study. As in all beginnings of any painting, it's all going to be initially about getting correct proportion. If we rush too fast to go to the painting stage without getting proportion first, then it doesn't matter how good your colours are, it's still not going to be as good a painting as it could be. I'm going to come in with just French altering first, see how we begin with this. My very first mark is going to be where the top is, where the absolute top of this um, bottle is here. Then obviously you then have the width which gives you proportion. If your width is too small, it's going to be out of proportion. If your width is too wide, it's going to be out of proportion. Now, of course, this line here virtually comes straight up. Now, let's also put the other construct in. Let's, let's put this line in between the two bottles. Um, see if we can get that positioned. Just trying to make sure I stand in the right place. So I'm using the height as a reference. When you are drawing something out, do be really mindful, don't put a big thick mark in. So just lifting out what I don't want. Yeah, you can begin to see it's kind of taking shape now. Let's just take that line away. Straight lines. And let's just connect the lines up to see if that's true. Okay, so let's look at um, now adding some dark. So the raw umber and the French ultramarine blue mixed together will go pretty much a, a black. As you can see there. You can see what I'm doing. It's literally just putting a bit of a value in there. It's literally just what is light you put in as light. What is dark you put in as dark. If we take this little tiny brush and we just use it to dig into this value, it'll lighten it up slightly. I just want to put this highlight in. You're getting to grips with the shapes, the reflections, the lights and darks. You're familiarising yourself with the image that you're going to be painting. And that's kind of fun. Like I said, there's no rush to put the colour on. I think if you're painting and you're looking at the clock, you're doing a nine to five, you're X number of hours. Let's say you've got, 20, you've got 10 hours to make a painting, then obviously you don't want to be spending too much on each stage. But if you're learning, well, it doesn't matter if you take 10 hours or 50. It matters that you enjoy it. And so as I'm saying, it's nice that uh, this stage I really enjoy because it, it's a way of getting in and just having some fun. Um, See how far you can push the image. We've got a dark line there, so we need to put it in. Let's have a little bit of burnt umber and ultramarine blue. Can you see what I mean by if you matched your lights and darks so they're all correct, the shapes, the values, you'd have an amazing painting. I'm just popping some value in. I'm going to get a little bit of solvent on this just to help it flow. 
is a good start. And we now have an opportunity to adjust this, tweak it, make it even better. And then we know where to put the colors, which is the important part. 